You ready to go do something really exciting? All packed, ready to go. Amazing sunrise. The tiny little crescent moon. Hmm. Right, yard dog coming with. So today we are going to the next gen young horse finals. I uh, was really lucky that I um, basically got to fill somebody's place. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see me now. Um, they had a withdrawal yesterday and I was able to fill the space. I am going purely for experience. Um, because I hadn't qualified for any of the young horse finals, I kind of, I took her to the marina high last week, but I was kind of giving her a bit of an easy time. So who knows how it'll go today. But at the same time, I don't really mind. Uh, that's not really why we're going. It's an amazing experience. It's a Hickstead which is a enormous showground down in the south of England. So we're heading down there now, it's really early, 6.05. Uh, so it's gonna be about an hour, hour and a bit to get there. And then we're gonna plat her when we're there and have a go. It's the four year old class, so it's nice and simple. But yes, very little expectation, just going for the experience and to have a good time. Hi guys, uh, we're platting, it was too early to plat at home, we left at like 6 o'clock, so um, we've literally just arrived at Hickstead, just video out there a bit, it's going to be a beautiful day, we are very excited, we got our bands and we got our temperature taken on the way in, and yeah my time is 10.02 and it's 8.30 so we've got lots of time, I wanted to um, Stand. Get Zora platted and be nice and organised. That's why it's about an hour and a half. We had to get around the M25, so the tra and that's a notoriously bad road in the UK for travel traffic. So yeah, feeling good. Again, like I said, we are here for experience, and I need to remind myself of that because she's not really like she won't be as kind of established as a lot of the horses that we'll see today but we can come and we can enjoy and gain good experience can't we so yeah here we are <laughs> yes nice uh she could have two just to help settle the nerves a little hey zora is it a big deal today huh it's gonna be quite a lot of atmosphere the, uh, the four-year-old class is in the massive polo arena, which is really amazing. It's a lovely, it's actually normally the warm-up, I think, when they have the big shows on, the show jumping shows in. But, um, yeah. It's just platting, sorry. So Meg is doing a marvellous job of platting Zora. And I, I am off to find the, come on Ralph find my number because I was a late entry I don't even know my bridal number so that's quite crucial so I'm gonna go off and find that and yeah I'll show you guys around a little bit So we are nearly ready. Zora's getting our ears on. I'm a bit nervous today. It's quite a big deal. The setup is quite a big deal, but I've just done a breathing exercise. I didn't get all the way through it, annoyingly. But um, 
when I get on, I'm gonna center myself with my breath and yeah, see how I feel. We are here for experience and we really are because there are some very, 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 very like produced young horses here. And I'm not saying that she's not wonderful, but she is, you know, would be greener than a lot of them. So yeah, don't know whether I'm just trying to make myself feel better. <laughs> Is all right. It is a Bay Oldenburg mare by Lantino out of a Farrow Dam, owned and bred by Miriam Hackett. Number 122, Zadora, Miriam Hackett. So as you can hear, it was quite an atmosphere. Um, I was really impressed with how she went round the edge, actually. Um, I was just kind of expecting her to go a bit more shell-shocked. You can't really see it on the video from this angle, but she went down the centre line like a snake. A bit left, a little bit right, so I was kind of just like moving her with my leg and my hand where I could. A bit spooky around the edge, and I didn't have enough right bend. You can see I didn't have her round my right leg, so this bit was a bit gross but she's four and actually she came back to me really quickly the left rein has always been her stronger suit so that's what we were you know getting back onto the left rein was preferred for her she felt nice and swingy she interestingly she had felt better in the warm-up um I think to be understood to be understandably kind of thing like it's more on her own in this in this in the test and not in the warm-up the other horses in the warm-up that kind of thing so then we had the medium trot here and I really didn't push for anything until she was a bit straighter. So you can see there, then I asked for a bit more and actually really getting it there. She's really starting to like lift through her shoulder and move a little bit more when I ask her to rather than cantering or doing the wrong thing. Um, and then we had a 20 meter circle here and you can see again it went back to being a bit diff like a bit tricky on the right. Um, again, like I say, this is her harder, weaker rein. She's a bit of a left-handed horse, so that is to be expected. And then this moment was really cool. I said, can you go more? And she just lifted through the shoulder and pushed. You couldn't actually see so well there, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen I did a post about it. And then we have the walk here. So this is what I forgot to do in that last next-gen class, and I went the wrong, and I cantered rather than walked, and I got penalised for it so I was definitely not going to be doing that again kind of the the free walk did appear but it took a little minute and it's interesting that the way they judge these tests isn't um I'll explain that what just happened there it isn't about it like mark by mark it's about the walk the trot and the canter 
my camera died. So thankfully Meg was actually videoing on my phone and the camera. But as you can see, it's a bit bad quality. So sorry about that. Um, so yeah, the walk I was actually very pleased with. She um, felt consistent and calm and steady and rhythmical. And uh, she received a 6.9 for her walk, which actually I thought was nice. So, yeah, really pleased with that. We ambled back into trot again. And then up comes the canter. So the trot work that I had done, I got a 6.9 as well, which I was pleased with. So this out, my everything is marked out of 10. And actually the canter felt the most established that it has felt. Um, there are some moments where she goes a little overbent and some moments where she's a bit unbalanced. But actually, like when I really had her in the bend and I had her around my inside leg, she felt super. So I had some medium canter down this long side and she, I actually did medium canter and then I brought her back again. And that's a big deal for a four-year-old, being able to do a transition within canter. My arena at home, I moan about it all the time, it is too small really, so you end up with an arena that is it's kind of hard to practice in, basically. But yeah, the downward transition here was improved, and the trot afterwards felt lovely, and just just so grown up. Like, I just can't believe how proud I was to, you know, I felt so, so proud on this day to say, like, yeah, come on, look, look what I've, look what I've created. Um... And then the medium canter here was even better, and it felt really, like, grown up, basically. Um, she did actually trot for a moment, which was a bit of a shame. But um, we got a 6.6 .6 for the canter, which is understandable, because she did drop out of it. So it's just one of those things. But I, I just didn't care, really. I was just so pleased with her general performance and attitude. And this was my favourite part. The whole test was when I could soften my reins and let her have a stretch and I think that having this in a four-year-old test is so super because you really get to see kind of how a young horse performs under pressure because when the, the rider isn't holding them up you know I had to kind of you have to let your let your reins go and trust them and it's really lovely when obviously they do a nice thing like that and they go so soft and fluent and that was really special down the center line a bit straighter this time you wait till you see this hole. It's like, <coughs> crash. Not so good. But <laughs> I didn't really care again. I was just so pleased. The smile could have been seen from space. What a good girl. Goodness me. I couldn't really want for her to have been any better behaved. She um, was with me and slow and calm and every transition was in the right place. And I... There are some horses here that are like really, really like established. And I've got one to remember that. Like she hasn't done loads. This is like her fourth show, is it? I d I, two next gen. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Yeah, this is like her fourth show. And I can't, I can't want for much more than that. Like she did everything I asked her to do and with a smile on her face and that is the most important thing. I said I was coming for experience and I have definitely gained some experience. It was a big deal, it was a big atmosphere and she coped incredibly well with it and if she's like this when she's four years old at her fourth show I can only be excited for the future. Um, she is now having a little wash and now we're going to put her ice boots on and then I think we might go and watch the rest of the class and see how it finishes up. There's some lovely horses here and I want to show you guys. So Zora's wearing her ice boots. Should we uh, take her plaits out now? We might as well, might we? Ralph has been enjoying his day out, apart from the short interlude with the wrestling with the dog next door. <laughs> you like this car parking on grass thing, don't you Zora? Your curly pie hair. Oh, what a good little girl, so proud. Being a vegetarian, this was a bit of an unknown concept for me, but uh, I bought Ralph a sausage. <laughs> oh! Oh, well, that's one way of getting it, Ralph. You shake while I'm holding it. Oh, honestly. Are you gonna. He's not very fast. Oh, God. It's gonna be a long journey. So I've just uh, had a look online at the results. All of the stuff is online because of Corona. Ruins everyone's fun. Oh. <laughs> no prize givings. Nothing. Not that I would have been in in the prize game. Come on. Um, 
But uh, yeah, so I received a 6.8 overall. Oh, we're going that way. Uh, 6.8 overall, and I'm really pleased. And someone's looking at me, so I'm going to stop. We've come to see the main arena. It's the Devil's Dyke. It's the bank over there in the distance. The Irish bank over there. Mad, isn't it? Mm. What a setup. Amazing place to be. So we have arrived home and Zora's had a little wash, got a bit hot in the lorry actually, and a little roll. And yeah, what a lovely, lovely day. I'm so proud of her. I watched the video back and I was just saying to Megan how like I have basically spent my whole life trying to get to this point where I have a young horse that I've produced. And of course I have produced them before, but never, I wasn't, I wasn't good enough really. And now I feel like actually I'm getting there and it's, it's really, really lovely to be at that point. Um, I'm really proud of Zora. I'm proud of how she coped, coped with the whole environment today because I keep saying it, but it was only her fourth show and I've got to remember that, that it's, that's a big deal, you know, that's a big environment to take a four-year-old in and for her to go and do all of her transitions in all the right places. And of course, there's more to come, like, goodness me, like, you know, it wasn't perfect. And of course, I, in the end, I scored a 6.8. So there's a lot of work to be done. But the, the crux of it is she had a good experience. And that, for me, is the most important thing. I knew I wasn't going to be competitive. There were horses in the warm-up with me. One of them looked like it could pee off. And of course, this, you know, these... These guys that are riding these horses that I was against, this is all they do. They have six four-year-olds and they ride all of them and they've been producing them all year for these young horse series. Whereas I have been, you know, really training Zora with Zora in mind. And I'm not saying that they're not training with the horse first, but there's a lot more the production that has gone into those horses and they're much more rideable, you know. It's still a bit tentative with her and I... I'm, the connection isn't maybe there all the time and you'll have seen in the test it was a bit wobbly but in essence everything she does is to you know is on purpose she's never you know randomly naughty or anything like that she's so kind of level and easy going and her mind is so wonderful to train with um, I'm just really looking forward to the future with her and she's going to have a holiday now um, it's a bit of a random time, but um, I feel that she is ready to. I'm feeling like she maybe is going to grow some more. And, uh, yeah, so she's going to have some downtime. We'll kind of wean her off with some hacking and that kind of thing. And then she'll probably have a little while. I don't know how long at the moment. Um, I don't really want her to have a holiday right in the middle of winter either because then the fields get bogged down and that kind of thing. So I'd rather her have a holiday earlier. Um, but yeah, so that is, that is the plan for little Zora, who is not so little anymore, and yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video, I hope uh, that you enjoyed seeing where we got to on our little four-year-old journey with her. I'm not saying this is going to be the last video of Zora in 2020, but it might be, I don't know. Um, so yeah, thank you again for being here and for watching. And don't forget guys, you've got to subscribe to my channel and do all of those things that I linked in the last description. I can't bother to talk about it now because <laughs> it's a lot. But for the, the giveaway, you've got to make sure that you have subscribed to this channel and then liked all of the companies that are involved and you can be in with a chance of winning all of those amazing prizes uh i'm gonna go i've got to ride a lot of horses not too many actually i think we're gonna do some hacking it's very hot today so we're gonna give the rest of them a little bit of an easy day obi is having a day off having been to a show yesterday i did not vlog if you want to learn about it it was over on my instagram um but yeah i will see you all next time and thank you so much for watching goodbye for now